Mr. Hoving, about uh, two and a half uh, millennia ago, that would have held a lot of wine. It would have held nearly seven gallons of the finest uh, wine that you could have produced in those days in the 6th century B.C. I understand that uh, in between then and now, that uh, vase has been in quite a number of different little pieces. Well, it is uh, in pieces, but luckily and uniquely, all the pieces are there. So it's simply a question of putting the pieces back together again, and nothing is missing, which is very, very unusual in this type of material. Oh, I know that it's uh, crass to ask cost and such, but uh, what is this worth? Well, we can't reveal what we uh, paid for it, because that's not our policy, but it has an insurance evaluation, I guess, in the vicinity of about $2 million, because it is uh, a uh, intact vase by the acknowledged greatest painter of these things in 510 BC, and uh, is unique in the world. What makes this particular one unique? Well, I think the beauty of its uh, drawing, the perfection of its shape, the size, the fact that it's intact, and of course the fact that it's by this, uh, acknowledge one of the greatest of all painters of these objects, and there are plenty of them. There are tens of thousands of Greek vases in the world, but uh, there's only one of these. Well, Euphronius, uh, when he created this, uh, exactly how did he do it? What, was the, what were the drawbacks of uh, vase making in those days? What you had to do was to take that great shape there and you put it on your knees while it was the color of the clay and still somewhat wet. And you had to be able to draw everything with all of the overlaps, the joins of every line without making one mistake. And you couldn't see what you had just done. You could only see after it was fired and then the colors would come up. So it's a type of activity that in today we can't understand. He must have practiced and practiced uh, to get it exactly right. And the uh, ability to do that with the sureness and yet the freedom at the same time is inconceivable to our minds, I suppose.